Hello guys and welcome to Program Artist. In this episode, I will talk about type aliases in TypeScript. Type aliases in TypeScript are just a different name to a type. You've already seen me use type aliases in previous episodes. So let's look at a few examples of how to use them and what can we achieve with type aliases. You can give type aliases to primitive types like numbers, functions, objects, strings and so on. So let's look, let's give an, a, a name to a number type. When I give uh, the type name, the type ls h to the number, I give it a little bit of meaning. Uh, same goes for the h provider, which is a function. It is a type of a function which doesn't receive anything and returns an h. Now, uh, those are uh, type aliases for primitive types. This one is a number and this one is a function. But it, you can also uh, give an alias to a complex uh, type. Uh, for instance, uh, union type of age and age provider. Okay, so now age source is an alias for uh, the type age, which is a number, and an age provider, which is a function to a number. Now I can use type guards uh, with the type aliases and they really work together well. So those of you who don't remember what type guards are, you can watch a previous episode of mine about type guards. Now let's write a function that uses the h source to h, receives the h source and returns an h. And what it's simply gonna do, it will check the type of h source. If it is a number, then it will return the h source. Otherwise, it will return the h source like this. Now, as you can see, I will mention it uh, next time. The h provider is defined as a function to h, but when I'm putting uh, the mouse over the h source now, uh, it is a function to a number. Okay, I will talk about it a little bit later. Type aliases can also be generic. For example, we can have a type, generic type node, which will have a data t and the next node of type t. Uh, but we can also make a complicated generic types, for instance, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's call it data node and it will be the data itself and it will have a property of the type data node t. So for instance, if we have a, an interface, I don't know, cat has an age age. Now uh, when we have a node of cat we can have the data age or we have the we can have the next data age uh, and let's call it node one and when we have node 2 of type data node of cats let's put it now so it will yell at me and we'll have uh, node 2 will uh, have the age and the node 2 next will also have the age and the next now at this point you may be asking yourself what's the difference between the type alias and an interface. Well, they are very similar things, but there are a few differences between them. First of all, an interface is a new type, while type alias is not a new type, it is in simply a new alias, a new name to an existing type. So for example, uh, when, I, when I put a mouse over the h source, as I did before, we can see that the h source, let's make it another example, const age to age 1. 
Now, when I put the mouse over the 2H, I can see that the type of the 2H, the return type of the 2H is a number instead of an H uh, because uh, it translates the H to a primitive uh, type which is a number and it uses uh, the H as an alias just for some kind of documentations for us humans. Uh, and if we use the cat over here, like this, it won't work but I will see the return type of the 2H, it is here a cat. Uh, so this is one difference. Another difference between type aliases and interfaces, which is the most significant one, in my opinion, is that with interfaces I can create, a, I don't know, cat2, which extends the cat, okay, and it will be okay. But I cannot extend an age because uh, an interface may only extend a class or another interface, meaning that type LSs are not extendable and not implementable. So if you're using type LSs instead of interfaces, your software is much harder to be extended, to be uh, more robust. So this is why you should prefer using interfaces instead of type aliases, but sometimes you cannot use interfaces. For example, in this case where you need a union type, uh, it is much harder. I don't think it is even possible to do this with an interface. You have watched an episode about type aliases in TypeScript. Let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. You can watch more TypeScript episodes by clicking over here, or if you trust YouTube to know what you really want to see, click over here. If you want to watch more code related videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you later on Programmerist.